Limpopo police have opened a murder inquest after a man allegedly hung his two children at Ngaling village outside Mangueng in Limpopo. 38-year-old Samuel Khatle then hung himself in another room. The motive behind the act is not yet known. The children are five-year-old Mary and eight-year-old Anna. They were visiting their father, Samuel Khatle. They lived with Khatle's ex-wife. He and his wife divorced last year and had agreed on a shared custody of their offspring. It's believed the incident happened after a telephonic argument between the parents. We as families, we are devastated by what happened here. Our hearts are broken. We thought we would raise the children so they could become something in life. We are hurt because innocent children have been killed. We were shocked hearing that the father did this to his children. But all we can do now is accept what happened. Police have opened a case of two counts of murder and an inquest for further investigation. They've also strongly condemned the continuing acts of violent crimes perpetrated against children in some parts of the province. Ruth and Obobodi, SABC News, Haleng Village, Limbobo. Colonel Mo Chengwete from the Limbobo Police joins us on the line now. Colonel, thanks so much for your time this evening. What else do we know? Thanks, indeed. We can confirm that uh, we are investigating cases of uh, two counts murder and that of inquest following this uh, tragic incident where allegedly so uh, the father had uh, argument with the mother uh, ending up hanging um, these two children on in separate rooms one by one. Thereafter, he disappeared. Upon receiving the report, we followed him. Unfortunately, we also find him hanged in a room within the area itself. Do we know where the mother is at this moment? Yeah, we, we are aware because we understand that uh, this type of incident immediately, it, uh, it took place like this. We have got uh, what we call victim empowerment program, which is uh, being led by the social, social development department through social workers. That's where now both the two families are being taken through counseling and, and other processes to make sure that uh, uh, they are being attended to fully. Okay. Colonel, in an instance like this, is it correct to say that, um, do you know for a fact that this man killed the children? Should we be saying uh, he allegedly killed them or is it an instance of um, not using that kind of language? Sorry, can you repeat? Do we know for sure that he is responsible for the murder of those two children? That is why we are speaking about allegation because that is the evidence in our disposal to say uh, immediately after argument with the wife telephonically, that is where now it is, it is alleged. He took these kids one by one in separate houses, hanging them, and then he ran away. When we followed him, he was also found hanged. Okay. These type of crimes are really able to be predicted. So what advice would you have for people watching about perhaps signs to look out for or how to get help if they feel them or their children or anyone around them is in danger? Definitely so. That is why the Acting Provincial Commissioner of the South African Police Services in Limpopo, Major General Yarskepers, have uh, advised members of the community that in case of uh, any domestic-related problem, they rather resort to uh, local professionals for intervention, rather taking the life of others, especially targeting the vulnerable children. Mm. Colonel Mwacheng Wate from Limpopo, he's the spokesperson for Limpopo Police joining us on the line there. Thanks so much for your time.